Whew. Y'all ready to get this party started? We're working triceps today. I'm gonna show you why your triceps don't look like these and you're not getting that horseshoe look that you wanna get. Let me show you how to do it. Now, you know that's wrong. You know you see people in the gym do this and you wanna say something to them, but you just don't, just so they don't get upset. But let me show you how to do this right. And let me show you first why that's wrong. Number one, you never want to use momentum when you're trying to target your triceps. The tricep, the tricep is the largest muscle group on your arm. So if you really want to grow your arms, it takes up about 70% of your arm, which means you need to do it correctly and isolate the muscle properly. So, me rocking, okay? It already stops me from getting the isolation on that muscle group. So what you wanna do, you wanna come closer to it. You know, if it's taller, it's better, okay? So for me, what I would do if it's this short, I'm gonna come back just a little bit. But what you wanna do is keep your elbows tucked to your side. It went from out here to right beside, right beside you, right about 90 degrees or 45, okay? And now you wanna push through and squeeze. All right, push as far down as you can, squeeze, okay? Come about halfway up, 45 to 90, using no momentum, push, squeeze. All right, you can lean forward if you want to. You just gotta push back and contract the muscle to get as much blood flow as possible. So, right here, uh, squeeze. All right, you can lean forward or you can come up here, nice and tall, and push it straight down. All right. I would say, I would say you always wanna, if you bring this up, you wanna be looking right at this cable thing, whatever you call this hook. All right, you wanna look right at it. <clears throat> Squeeze. The further down you can push, the more contraction and squeeze you're gonna get. It's 12 the hard way. I'm moving to the next one. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are thinking, what's wrong with this movement here? You can actually get results from what I just showed you. But a better way to do it, okay, is making sure, all right, follow me here. When you do this exercise, you wanna fight against gravity. So instead of me going here, where there's a resting point, all right, my arms are resting, there's nothing else happening right here. You wanna bring your extension to an incline position. So I come back further, and as you know, my elbows are, are in here. My elbows are not flared out. Your elbows are in nice and tight, and you're pushing here, but still has tension on your triceps. It's almost like you're fighting against gravity. So when you push, push it right here, all right? This is a resting point. We wanna push here, all right? Let me show you how to do this. Uh. 
the difference immediately. All right, let's move on to the next one. So another common mistake that I see people do, we have dumbbells right here. So we're gonna do dumbbell tricep kickback. And what I see a lot of people do, they bring the weights up here. It's almost like a bicep curl. And they bring in it with momentum. You bring it up too high. That's not what we want here. All right, let me show you how it's going here. From side, bringing it up, and you're never contracting the muscle. Number two is you're here, but you don't get full extension. All right, check that out. Here, but you never get the full extension. But I want to show you guys how to do this right. So, 90 degrees. See my elbow? Hands are down. 90. Now, I never use momentum, but I push back and up. All right. Remember, if you ever think about why your arms are not burning, why you don't feel it, it's because you want to push up and you want the force to bring you back down, okay? So, that movement here, see that tricep? That's how you do it, okay? So, from here, back. No momentum. Squeeze every time. I show you dumbbells because if you have a pair of dumbbells you can do this anywhere guys at home anywhere that you got space you can grab some dumbbells and do that tricep exercise that I just showed you let's move on to the next one A lot of reasons why that's wrong. First of all, I want you guys to understand that range of motion matters, okay? We're not just talking about only building muscles. We want to be functional. Functional means you can produce force from the beginning point to the end point, okay? And if you were to push someone, right? So let's say I'm gonna push you. You're never gonna push somebody like this with that short range of motion. You're gonna use your full force, which starts from here, where you can reach your chest, and you're gonna push all the way through. So, when you do your dips, it's the same thing, okay? I see a lot of people use that short range of motion, and mostly bodybuilders like to use that, and I'm not saying all, but I see a lot of people do that. But what you wanna do, all right, and we wanna be upright for, for dips, okay? I'm also gonna show you from the bench. But if you're using dip bars, your body's upright, and we're coming down, boom, 90 degrees again. Push up, lock out. Here, push up, lock it out. one of my favorites for building muscle mass in the triceps. Now I'm gonna show you on the bench because some of you guys can't do this. So, even if we're on the bench, where are you gonna get the most force, like where you can actually feel your weight, is if you put your legs out. If you do this, there's nothing wrong with this, you know, you're getting ready, it's a progression, okay? Once you get your legs out and bend a little bit more, you're gonna to start to feel a lot more pressure on your tricep. So, same here. Almost like you're rubbing the chair. Go as far down as you can. Don't hurt your shoulders, so feel that. And push through. Down. probably one of the most beneficial exercises when it comes to strength for your triceps. Let's move on to the next one. I see this one a 
lot. This is actually one of my favorite tricep exercises to do. Overhead dumbbell extension. Now, what the problem is, when do you ever do anything this wide, okay? You're never gonna work your triceps. If you were to flex your triceps right now, you're gonna flex it down by your body. You're not ever gonna flex your triceps out here. So, same when it comes to doing this exercise. From here, you're gonna bring your elbows in, which is more of a direct uh, target to your triceps. All right, we're not targeting anything here, but I feel this maybe uh, somewhere in my back. So, straight line here. Again, that's why range of motion plays a part. So, if you guys can't get your elbows back here, you better start doing this stretch, okay? This is gonna help. All right, start doing that at least a few times a week if you can't get your arms back or straight. Now, the dumbbell position, okay? I'm making a diamond, I'll show you guys. I'm making the actual diamond with my hands. And put it here, grab the other one. Now, up over top, my elbows are in, and I'm pressing as far up as I can. Now, that's an effective tricep workout. So guys, out of all of these moves you saw today, five different exercises that you could be doing wrong, but that you may see somebody doing wrong, and you can help them improve so they can get the results they're looking for without injuring themselves. If you guys need more tips, more you know, ways how to functionally train, you know, not just to be a bodybuilder, but to actually be mobile in all different planes of movement. Guys, like, share this video. And don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna keep these coming. So again, guys, you're here with Josh Bailey. Don't forget to show some love. See you on the next one. Get those triceps right.